Hello everyone, this is Lindsay from Winding Road Crochet, and today I will be showing you how to make a front post and back post double crochet. This technique creates a unique texture by pulling the stitch forward. Here I have an example of alternating three front post double crochet with three back post double crochet to create a wide ribbing texture. This next piece shows an example of alternating one front post double crochet with one back post double crochet to create a thinner ribbing. This is a great way to finish up a top down crochet hat. My last example is of a mini basket weave stitch made using the front post and back post double crochet stitch. You can achieve a lot of unique textures using this stitch in different patterns. To show you this technique, I went ahead and chained 12 and double crocheted in the third chain from the hook and every chain across. Now I will chain 2 and turn to create my second row. For our first stitch of our second row, we will make a normal double crochet. We will yarn over and insert our hook directly under the top of the stitch. You will have two strands over your hook. Yarn over and pull up your loop through the stitch. Yarn over once more and pull the first loop on the hook through the next two loops. Yarn over again and pull the first loop through the remaining loops on the hook. This is how you make a normal double crochet. In order to make a front post double crochet, we'll be inserting our hook through the front of our work and around the post of the next stitch and back to the front of our work. Let's give this a try. Go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook through the front of your stitch, around the back of the post and back to the front of the stitch. Yarn over and pull a loop back through your stitch. Now yarn over, pull the first loop through the next two loops, yarn over, and pull through the rest of the loops on the hook to finish the stitch. You should be able to see how the double crochet of the previous stitch is being pulled forward. I will go ahead and make two more front post double crochet. I'll yarn over, insert my hook behind the post of the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two more loops on the hook. That makes our second front post double crochet. We'll do this once more, yarn over, insert behind the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook and yarn over and pull through two more loops on the hook. Now we have three front post double crochet. To do a back post double crochet, we will be inserting our hook into the back of our work and around the post of the next stitch and back through to the back of our work. This will cause our stitches to be pulled to the back of our work. Let's go ahead and make a few back post double crochet. Let's yarn over, insert our hook through the back of the work, around the post of the next stitch, and back to the back of our work. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Then you can go ahead and finish the rest of your double crochet. You can see here how it pulled the loop to the back of the work. We'll go ahead and make another back post double crochet. Yarn over, insert our hook into the back of the work, around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull it through the next two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops on the hook. Now we have two back post double crochet. 
We're going to go ahead and make one more front post double crochet so you can see the variance between the back post and the front post double crochet. Now I hope you're able to see the texture coming forward, going back, and then coming forward again. You can use the front post and back post technique to create a variety of different textures just by simply changing up the pattern and the order in which you use them. You could also front post and back post double crochet to stitches that are not directly under them and create some really unique cabling. But that is a video for another day. I really hope you liked my tutorial for the front and back post double crochet. If you want me to make more stitch tutorials, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. If you have a stitch you want to see me do a tutorial for, let me know in the comments below. Do you like to crochet? I have a bunch of fun, family-inspired free crochet patterns on my blog at windingroadcrochet.com. Until next time, happy crocheting!